Greetings, this is Robert Forsh with the YouTube channel Truth, and I wanted to go ahead and show you the beauty of this right now. The tide is on its way out right now. Actually, I think I might have that wrong. <laughs> I, I'm not real sure. The last high or low tide was two hours and 15 minutes ago. So we'll, we'll see what it is. It'll show us. It'll be a good exercise in analytical, critical thinking. So I can say what I believe is going to happen and then we will actually see what that is. The sun should appear any time now. Please notice the beautiful reflection of the sea level liquid mirror that's right in front of us. I've got two recordings going on. One with an iPhone 10 and surround sound should have less uh, wind disturbance with this and then a P1000 recording as well. This is the point in Cherry Grove, South Carolina and we should see the beauty of the sunrise any moment now. I forgot to notice whether the tide was rising or falling. It's going out. Very good, thanks. That's what I thought. I wanted to make sure I had it right, though. All the mystery would be solved in a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we did well. How did you do at home? Yeah. Did you get much flooding? Good, good. Yeah, it wasn't as... Yeah. Oh, you had 70 mile an hour gusts? could feel some movement there. Wow. Well, I'm glad you did okay. Yeah. But we lucked out because of the tide. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It could have been a lot worse. If the high tide would have been in, we would have got Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you enjoy the day. Oh, thanks so much. Well, good to see you. You'll be on. You'll be able to... Oh yeah, well thank you. Yeah, I love sharing the beauty of this yep. with anybody who wants to see it. Alrighty, good to see you all again. So yesterday I did a high and low tide recording out here and you can see that. If you want to see the, the chronological posts of my videos, quite often they'll be in the videos category. I typically will add them to my liked video playlist and sometimes I rotate them around a bit. So that's kind of how that happens. And uh, the liked video playlist has over uh, 2,975 videos, I believe, right now. 
I'll probably be adding some more today, including two these two or three that I record. I met a fascinating gentleman this morning. We, uh, I gave myself enough time to get fuel, and it was a wonderful meeting Rick, Rick today. And, uh, and Steve and his wife here out on the beach. It's amazing the, the wonderful relationships that I end up developing doing what I get to do here. I'm going to zoom in on an individual that is um, probably can't see with the P1000 or the the iPhone, but I'll show you with the P1000. Standing on a high spot there. I think I might just be able to see the um, or show you the. Yeah, there it is, the sailboat that washed up a couple years ago and filled up with sand and water. So we've got the wind coming in from the ocean right now, coming out of the south at about, uh, it's coming from the southwest, feels like about 7 to 10 miles an hour. Hey, good morning. <laughs> so part of what I'm going to do is just move around here a little bit and show you the mirror that this is. Of course, higher is drier and lighter color. Let me just set that down and show you how it's gently uh, blowing in, and we're towards the. Well, I should say the the tide is going out. It's obvious to see that. It's a little bit easier to set up out here when that's happening. North Carolina is uh, just a couple miles north of here, towards the middle of the view. So since I've got two, two recording devices, I'll explain it like this. The, uh, the sun in the summertime typically will come up in the middle of the view, and in the wintertime will come up in the middle of the view over there. You can see that on my videos if you care to. There's a pelican, doesn't mind hanging out with some other bird, <laughs> bird varieties, other breeds of bird. So the, the truth is not determined by popular opinion. It's, it's not popular and it's not an opinion, it's just the truth. So to apply analytical, deductive reasoning, critical thinking, and a desire to know the truth, I simply want to help explain some of that. There's the, the truth, which I believe is the reality, and then there's a false reality, 
in deception that much of humanity is uh, believing. By irony and paradox, we don't know what we don't know. It's just the way it is. They've got beautiful captures of the, the sun appearing in the midst of the clouds. I had a, a call this morning, kind of interesting. I was up, I was up for over a half hour getting ready for today. The uh, call came in at precisely 3.33, 3.33 uh, Eastern Standard Time. High tide yesterday, actually moonrise was 3.33 Eastern Standard Time PM. The call I got today was AM. Evidently they wanted to send me some kind of a message. Well, I'm, I'm sending some kind of a message too out here today. Oh, there's the sun right there. I'll zoom in on that and show you. Job 37 states that the sun is in the midst of the clouds. You can explore that if you want to. The reason why the, this matters, the shape of the earth, is the biblical proclamation is accurate, is the reality of the world that we live in. So is the Bible a science book? Well, it is for me. I've never found it to be wrong, <laughs> ever. What I notice with creation has been proclaimed in Scripture. So that's part of why I, I do this, is because as a biblical creationist that's actually born again at this time, I want people to be aware of the reality of Scripture. The proclamation of the Bible is that the earth does not move. Do you feel yourself spinning, wobbling, or gyrating? I hope not, because the earth isn't moving. You might have something else going on. I don't know. So when the tide is going out, one of the things that we can do, just to unpack this a little bit, is can walk out to a, what would otherwise be a potentially fatal location. With the tide going out, we know we'll be able to see more, more surface to walk on safely. When the tide is coming in, it can be a bit mysterious. I remember the first time I was out here, about um, first time I was out in the in the middle, where the water gets deepest, or close to where it gets deepest, and I was doing a Bible uh, recording, and I didn't know how fast the water was going to come in. Was it going to be like a tsunami, or gently coming in like this? like we're watching the water go back and forth here. So it was all very interesting to me at that time. Still, still is. I remember when I saw it happening, thinking uh, this is gonna be the, uh, my outreach to this world from this location, and largely it has been. To show the beauty and majesty of creation and proclaim the truth is a powerful reality and privilege. So that's why I do this. So not only does the Bible say the earth doesn't move, 
to get our daylight and night times, it's the sun, moon, and stars that move above the stationary and level Earth. Keep in mind there would be no level anywhere on an Earth that was moving. So typically concrete is poured to be level unless it's a driveway apron. So I'm just going to back up a little bit and show you a little bit of how the change occurs and what you're able to see. When I drop it down close to the, the sand, the surface, obviously we can see more reflection. One of my recordings yesterday, I was talking about critical analysis and the law of non-contradiction. I just hashtagged non-contradiction. You can look at that if you care to. Two opposing views can't, uh, if one of them is true, they, I, I should say, when there are two opposing views, they can't both be true or correct. However, they could both be wrong. Therein lies the challenge. I believe it's only by God's grace that anybody can love and believe the truth, let alone find it. So the uh, Prince Pier is on the other side of this pier, and or the Cherry Grove Fishing Pier, and that is the Prince Resort right there in the middle of the view. So the P1000 recording is going to be about a 27 minute video or so and it'll have zoomed in views of, uh, of the beauty out here, boats and people far away. And you can compare it to the iPhone 10 recording that will show you an un zoomed in or uh, just pretty much the way it looks out here.
without much magnification. I may zoom in on something from time to time. Uh, like for example, I'll show you the shrimp boat. This is roughly, uh, I believe, 10 times magnification. And I recently zoomed in on that with the P1000. The Nikon Coolpix P1000 will zoom in 125 times. So I've got video and photos of moon craters and, and that, a lot of high definition. I'm recording it with um, 30 frames per second, 1080p. To zoom in and out works best to leave on uh, the auto feature for that. I would just not be able to manual focus as good as the camera can. And for most of the photography that I do, it's, it's recorded with um, the auto feature. It does a great job. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in where the boat goes through the breakwater there. So we have buoyancy clearly being displayed here in front of us. Lighter than, less dense than the media around it allows it to float. The boat will drop through the water, or through the air, I mean, and then uh, float in the water. The birds are a better example of that. They'll fly through the air. If they stop uh, soaring and put their wings in, they'll just fall right down but then they'll float on the water. The boat that I mentioned earlier, I will show again, the sailboat that ran aground, and then the pelicans right there too. I was hoping to see the sun blast through on this first recording. I'll probably show it during the next recording with the P1000. We're expecting, um, I should say last year we had about 20 million guests here in the Myrtle Beach Grand Strand area. Being that it's September 8th, we've had a good amount of our annual guests show up for this year.
So reality exposes the truth, much of the truth and evidence that's in the Bible of the proclamation of the world that we live in. And that is largely why I show it and talk about it. Feel free to call me anytime. My phone number is 1-843-504-1776. This is Robert Forge with the YouTube channel Truth. Thank you so much for your public and private encouragement. I'm going to start another video so you can see the beauty of this continued. This is Robert Forge with the YouTube channel Truth. Thanks for tuning in, coming on by my channel. I've got uh, two, two recordings going on right now. One with the uh, iPhone 10 and the other with the P1000. The tide is going out right now. Low tide will be roughly uh, 11.43 Eastern Standard Time. This is in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, the point. Cherry Grove, as it's also known. The sunrise, the sun would appear on a clear day, right about in the middle of the view on the horizon at roughly 7.52 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're looking at the sea level liquid mirror that covers the face of the stationary earth just as the bible proclaims there's the sun right there job 37 proclaims that the sun is in the midst of the clouds Since I don't trust NASA, because they've been proven to lie intentionally. Oh, you can walk in or out, doesn't matter. Good morning, good to see you. Thank you. So we can't see through many clouds. The sun is roughly in the middle of the view right there. The clouds, humidity, moisture, one of the reasons why we can't see other continents and things at a really long distance right on the ocean here. There we go. If you would like to hashtag local sun, you can put the pound sign, that's what a hashtag is, in front of the term local sun and see many occurrences where I've captured the sun in the midst of the clouds. not using any filtration other than the natural clouds. Because it's more, what I'm wanting to show and tell you about is more than just the orb 
itself. Some people seem to think you've got to have a, a filter on so you can zoom in all the way. I don't need to. I want to show you the obvious reality that the sun is not 92.8 million miles away or so, whatever they are making up at this time. I believe that's the current disinformation. How will you know the truth when it's right in front of you? Ah, there's my little buddy Otis and Debbie. Hi, Otis! <laughs> Isn't he adorable? He's, he's about a year and a half old now. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Maybe Debbie will bring Otis on by. I I want to stay the course on showing you what I want to help you to see here. <laughs> Otis is so adorable. He <laughs> I have um, pictures of Captain Sully. Uh, that was Debbie's previous bulldog. He transitioned about a year and a half ago or two years ago. See, one of the one of the reasons to show the unfiltered view is just the tapestry of light and the subtle nuances that occur. I don't want to show it with um, an altered view of the of the lighting. And one of the reasons why I zoom in and out so much is to show you the sun itself, and then back out and show you how how it lights things up locally. And I like to back out to show you when, um, when you can confirm where the, the sun was and see that I'm just going straight on out and how it just virtually vanishes behind the clouds. Close to sunrise, when the sun appears right 
out of the ocean is really spectacular and shows how obviously small and local it actually is. And yes, there are laws of perspective. Some of my hashtags related to that would be hashtag perspective. Hashtag eternal perspective, that used to be the name of my channel, was eternal perspective. If you hashtag my name, Robert Force, you'll see quite a bit of content across the um, social media platforms that exist now and, and will exist later. That's one of the reasons why I put it in my titles. There's roughly 40 million views of my name and of me personally. You might want to consider it uh, another channel view. Oh well. Largely people see things the way they want to see it. I just uh, have a love for the truth. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 says to everybody forever and all spiritual entities, they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. So to be clear, Satan will use who and whatever God allows him. God who created this world uses everything, including Satan, the fallen angels, his children, Satan's children, God's children. He uses everything, all circumstances. Roughly seven people per second no longer have the human experience. We're all eternal beings having a temporary human experience. Only God's children will be born of His Spirit. And that's for sure and that's forever. Satan's children don't become God's children and vice versa. I believe the, the biblical proclamation is that the Creator, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Yahweh, the Living Word, the Living Water, the Great I Am, the Way, the Truth, well, <laughs> and the Life, uh, he, he is the Creator. He causes His children to love and believe the truth, to find Him. It's humanly impossible to obey Scripture biblically because the Holy Spirit needs to do what we cannot do. We can't love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength in our own flesh. The reason uh, that I struggled so much with the flesh is that's all I had. Once I was actually indwelt by the Holy Spirit and born again, he changed everything. He changed me. He changed the, the way that I see life. So now I have a, a passion, purpose, an eternal perspective, and the power to do what I previously couldn't do, and the pleasure to enjoy it all, even in the midst of substantial opposition. That's a puppy. <laughs> How old is he or she? Six months, yeah. How cute. <laughs> Hi there. How adorable. Meet a lot of uh, wonderful people in the and the dogs that many of them rescue. This is an area where a lot of 
rescue dog owners bring their puppies and their full-grown dogs too. Typically there aren't many rescue puppies. This is the point in Cherry Grove, South Carolina. North Carolina is just a couple miles north of here. Do you know how much a gallon of water weighs? Well, the temperature changes the volume and density of water and that drives the whole hydrologic cycle of the world. That differential also drives the electrical system of the world largely. So we have uh, evaporation, condensation and precipitation in all its forms. Water seeking its level moves turbines as in hydroelectric power dams and spillways and that that move turbines and then we have steam generated and moved turbines. You can heat up water to create steam with nuclear coal, solar, natural gas, wood. There's a lot of ways you can, there's biomass, there's different, um, different ways to heat water to create steam. Once again, it needs to try and escape its vessel, the pressure vessel, and it's directed to move the turbines. When I put my water jug completely full with water on top of the car, as maybe you've seen on my videography and photography, water would um, squeeze its way out through the, the top of the jug. And then when it would cool back down, there would be a void left in the water jug. Approximately an ounce would be uh, expanded out of the jug. So the water seeking its level from snow melt and mountain rivers and in all of that, pretty amazing. The flood that God had Noah prepare for covered the face of the stationary earth to over the tops of all the mountains however tall they were then. We have Mount Everest uh, reported at uh, 29,500 feet or so, five and a half miles approximately. There may be taller mountains that we don't know about or that I don't know about. By irony and paradox, we don't know 
what we don't know. And to be clear, the deceived are unaware that they are, in fact, deceived. So I encourage everybody to seek the truth with all your heart because it matters for eternity. Roughly seven people per second no longer have the human experience. Where will they spend eternity? Wherever God decides between them and God, there's a, a bit of mystery with that. Because left to his own human nature, man doesn't seek God. God needs to initiate that, that search. And I believe it's only by God's grace that anybody can love and believe the truth, let alone find it, find him. Satan's children will not be interested in the God of the Bible or obeying scripture. Since we live in a creation that causes some to seek the creator and find him. And I did. I thought I was born again in 1982 until I actually was in 2014. That's why I make the audio Bible available merged with the beauty of creation so people can hear the most important truth known to mankind. And I understand there's a lot of um, spiritual perspectives. There's a lot of so-called gods. There's actually only one genuine, authentic, real God. The rest are imposters and deceivers. So on my liked video playlist, I cover a wide variety of topics, including artificial intelligence, which will be, I believe, the image of the beast, the digital Tower of Babel that's being created all around us. There's a cybernetic collective of humanity, a hive mind, if you will, where people are not only connecting through the internet, uh, there's other technology that is uh, frequency to brain interface. No, no uh, other technology is needed to affect a change in emotion. Silent weapons for quiet wars. The television was just a masterpiece of human mind control and ingenuity that I believe is actually beyond human. It's, I believe, fallen angel technology. That's my belief. There's uh, the truth and then there's everything else. So I encourage everybody to seek it because it's going to matter for eternity. In Joshua 10, God's word says that God stopped the sun and the moon from moving. I've got a video that I shot where it's been shared approaching 20,000 times, approaching a million views of the sun appearing in the clouds. In that, I also mentioned that it takes less than a day to hear the entire New Testament. That occurrence of the local sun was shared through a lot of Facebook groups on the infant from the Infinite Earth page, where it has about 620,000 views, and then Flat Earth Research has uh, approaching 100,000. On my Facebook, it's got approaching 40,000, and on my YouTube channel, that same identical video has a, approximately uh, 2,200 views showing the power of the internet and the interconnectivity of the Facebook groups. There's approximately 2 billion people on Facebook right now. 
So there's a lot more going on with that, even though there's a lot of censorship with um, YouTube and Google and the artificial intelligence selecting the search results they want certain individuals to have. What I would encourage you to do is to explore my liked video playlist, the channel that I have, Truth is the name of it. If you hashtag YouTube Truth, you'll find my channel. If you hashtag Robert Force, you'll find my channel and much more activity across the social media platforms that I'm on now or will be on as God allows. The creator of this world. There's a firmament, a structure above the earth. In the flood that Noah prepared for, God opened up the floodgates of heaven, the fountains of the deep, and caused it to start raining. That is the biblical proclamation. Ron Wyatt, uh, archaeologist, discovered the Noah's Ark in the mountains of Ararat. And you can see that on my channel if that video is still up there. One of the things that happens is there's um, channels that get taken down and then some that are just hidden from searching. You might have a hard time finding information that you're searching for. So one of the sources that I recommend is the Bible. That's the main, that's the main text of the course of reality. And then to consider God's word and take a walk around out in reality. If you have limited mobility, you can still see it on beautiful uh, nature shows. You might want to mute what they're talking about. Historically, uh, channels and sources like National Geographic are going to present a false reality. They're going to give a false explanation of a godless cosmic Big Bang where creatures evolved into what we see now and, well, it's a deception. So that's why I do what I do. I share what I believe the reality to be. On some of the videos on my channel, there will be people that have a variety of perspectives that I do not agree with. However, the information they present, I believe, is important to be made aware of. We don't have any proof of people, stuff, ships, upside down in relationship to all of this stuff. There's up and down, not upside down in relationship to one another. If you've got any evidence or proof of that, feel free to let me know. Send it to me if you like. Send me the link. Put it in a comment if you want. It'll probably get held and I'll review it, see if I want to make it available and possibly share it. If you would like YouTube Truth stickers, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 169 Cloverleaf Drive, Longs, South Carolina, 29568. If you would like to meet me out on the beach, you can uh, do that. Call me at 1-843-504-1776. This is Robert Forsh with the YouTube channel Truth. Thank you so much.